Hey, this is Night Flame, and I'm here to review Original Sin, issue number zero. Who is the Watcher? Okay, so um, this is a pre, like almost a prelude, prequel to Original Sin. Uh, if you don't know about anything about the Watcher, no, but this is the comic you have to pick up this week in order to get caught up with Original Sin. I picked it up because I'm not, um, you know. Uh, not so familiarized with Noba. So let's see what I thought about this issue. So it starts off with um, Noba. We get a backup story of him. You know uh, how he ended up becoming Noba. What are his priorities? What does he do? And if you don't know who Noba is, he's basically um his dad used to be a Noba. Um, he used to work for the school like office. He'll always talk about how like he 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 was a janitor. Never mind. He was a janitor. He would always talk about how uh, he was a Noba before. Nobody believed him. And um, what's his face? Uh, Sam Sam Alexander, who's the new Noba, he always thought he was, was lacking. And one day he disappeared. Every, he like His dad completely disappeared. Sam had to take over the janitor duties in order to, like, um, in order to, uh, you know, contribute to his family. And, um... He finds his dad's helmet. He becomes a new Noba. That's the backup story on Noba. So we find that he's battling this like Aztec creature or something. You know, it's really weird. He's marrying this. Ac uh, he's battling this Aztec creature. Um, he finds out he's a robot. He destroys it, and the Benders come. He's like, "Oh yeah, I feel so good. You know, um, this is the thing. Good thing about this job is that you get recognized and stuff like that." And um, the Benders like, "Good job, Noba." Um, um, I'm glad you came here and saved these people. And they start questioning the Watcher because uh, Noba has always been intrigued by the Watcher. He's the one who's always been, um, you know, he's a good listener. According to Noba, you know, he, uh, he's a good listener, he, but he never speaks. He can't do anything. He can't act upon. So um, he asks questions. He asks Cap questions about the Watcher. And he ends up asking, why does he do this? So, like, what's his, um, how does he get profit from uh, watching the universe? And Captain is like, oh, yeah, I don't think anybody's ever asked. So, Sam Alexander goes on a trip to the moon or you know the watcher's home uh he gets him a gift which is like a piece of the land where the Avengers where the Avengers and X-Men fought and he's like I don't think you collect souvenirs but you know I brought this for you um to the watcher then the watcher lets him in his house uh, his helmet is going crazy cuz it doesn't know if it's either good or bad and the watcher uh, like basically tells him his back story which is pretty freaking interesting. I mean, I never even would have thought about the Watcher being so interesting. We find that he, you know, his dad, uh, what the Watcher's dad did a mistake, which is, I bet that's his original sin. Uh, he did a mistake in the past. He tried to, um, you know, he tried to influence the world by giving a planet this gift, but that planet used it in a bad way. So the Watcher is like, they're going to watch, but they're never going to act. That's their whole thing. So Sam understands that, and he becomes closer with the Watcher, and that's where the issue zero ends. So let's see the bear of this issue. The bear edict of this issue, I thought that um, this issue was, you know, a very good um, background on the Watcher and Nova. It gets me all hyped, definitely hyped for Original Sin. And, you know, we get to explore the, the relationship between Nova and the Watcher. I'm I'm never been interested in the Watcher before. You know how he's always been just there. He never says anything. Sometimes he does, but I never been interested on him. But now after this issue, um, before this I thought he was like a joke or something. But now, this is he's a serious person, and finding out that he's gonna die, kind of like, I kind of feel for him now, that, like, cause we know he's gonna die. It's spoiled everywhere. So, wow, uh, original sin better come like fast. Definitely excited. Mark Way did a good job on this issue, and thanks for watching, guys. Uh, no, never mind. I gave this issue a 9.5. This issue was uh, incredible. Definitely have to pick up Original Sin issue number zero, guys. And pick up Noba while you're at it, because it seems like it's going to be um, Noba. Just if you enjoy that backup story, I mean, like the background on Noba, pick it up too. So, you know, try new comics. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thanks. Bye.